separate projects from tasks. Projects and tasks are not the same thing, okay? But we treat them like the same thing. So let me give you an example. Maybe you have done this, hypothetically, of course. You have a to-do list. So on this list, you have things like pay the bills, schedule the hair appointment, pick up the prescriptions, Conley's birthday, summer camps, grocery list. These are not the same thing. These are not the same thing. Pay your bills is not the same thing as Conley's birthday. Pick up the prescriptions is not the same thing as summer camps. Summer camps, if you're a parent of school-age kids, is a project. You're talking about Tetris for 12 weeks of summer, figuring out which friends are going to which camps on which weeks and for which ages and which grades and who you're trying to coordinate with and which camps overlap and where you're going to be on vacation. That is like an hours long project, at least of Tetris and texting your friends and spreadsheets and signups and payments and, and registration forms and grids and calendars. That's a project. Summer camps is a project. That needs its own list. What are the different camps? What are the different weeks? What are the different tasks that go under the summer camp project list? Pick up prescriptions is a task. You go pick up the pres prescriptions and you come home with the prescriptions. That's a task. It is a one and done thing. In my example of Conley's birthday, Conley's birthday is a project. That's a project. That's not a task. Conley's birthday has like 50 items under Conley's birthday. So it is book the place, get the food, get goodie bags, send the invite list, make the invite list, send the invitations, get Conley's presents, invite family. Like it is item after item after item, task after task after task under the project of Conley's birthday. So Conley's birthday or summer camps are projects. They don't make it on your to-do list. They have their own list. If you will begin to organize your tasks by project and separate the projects, here's what's going to happen. It is going to instantly free up your brain. <laughs> like it is going to take the thinking out of your tasks. It is going to take the thinking out of managing your to-do list. And here's why. Your brain is working really, really hard all day, every day. When you look at that list to remember what you mean, that's what it's doing. When your brain looks at that to-do list and it sees groceries and Conley's birthday and pickup prescriptions and summer camps, it's working really hard to translate Conley's birthday. It's working really hard to, to remember everything that falls under summer camps because it's not written down. David Allen said in his book, Getting Things Done, your brain is for having ideas, not holding them. Oh, that's good, y'all. Your brain is for having ideas, not holding them. So when you write some cryptic message on your to-do list called summer camps, which actually means 50 other things, your brain is working so hard to hold on to that. And it can't, and it shouldn't, and it's a waste of your energy. Instead, plan your to-do list differently. Pull out the projects and give them their own list. Now, you may think at first pass, well, Christy, that's overwhelming to have five lists. It's actually not. When you write it down, when you write down step-by-step step what you need to do for each project under each project list, then when you block the time on your calendar, because you will, as we've talked about, when you block the time and you say, okay, I've got these few hours to work on summer camps, and you sit down with your list, y'all, yo, you're fast. You're really, really fast. You're going to the websites. You're filling out the registration forms. You're texting your friends. You're getting that, that job done. When you sit down and you're in birthday mode, okay, we're going to have the birthday party here. This is going to be the theme. Go on Amazon, order a package, get the party supplies, invite the friends. Once your brain is in that gear, like we talked about in step one, once your brain is in that gear, you're very, very fast. You knock these things out one after another. Again, it's putting like things together, but you're taking the thinking out of it. You're giving your brain a break by writing down exactly what you need to do and not leaving any room for interpretation or translation where your brain is working so hard to figure out what you mean. And you can't prioritize because you're not sure which comes first. You've got these separate lists with like things together. Everything is written down. And then, of course, you're going to block time on your calendar to make sure you have time to knock out that list. Don't just treat your calendar as something that appointments show up on. If this to-do list is not on your calendar, it's not gonna get done and you know it. It takes time. 
It takes time to drive to the, the pharmacy and get your prescription. It takes time to get the groceries. It takes time to plan camps. It takes time to plan a birthday party. If you don't plan the time on your calendar, if you don't batch these like things on your calendar also, they're not going to get done. So make sure you continue the whole process where not only do you put like things together, and not, not only do you pull out the projects and separate them from tasks, you also put them on the calendar so you are going to do the thing that you want to do. You are putting this to-do list and these tasks on the system you've chosen to live your life by, which is your calendar. If it's not on the calendar, it's not going to happen. You know it and I know it. So put the do list tasks on the calendar so they happen. Okay, you sticking with me? We, we are getting hours of your life back right now. 